All right, y'all, it's time to talk about how to put on your shoulder rest or sponge. I've had a few questions about that recently, so I wanted to put out a video to help you uh, outside of school hours if you're unsure of how to do this. So first and foremost, let's go over sponges because most of us Laurel Links have sponges and not shoulder rests. So I'm going to go ahead and put my rubber bands on where they should go. I'll show you where they're placed. So I have wrapped a rubber band around this bout of the violin, secured it around the chin rest or tail piece, and another on the opposite side in the same place. This is how it looks on the back. It makes a little X here at the bottom. So that's how your rubber bands should be placed. If they're slightly crooked, it's really no big deal. Don't worry about getting it perfectly aligned here up top. As long as they hold the sponge on, they're doing their job. So those are your rubber bands here. Now I don't have a sponge in my size, so I'm just using a cloth that I've folded into a rectangle resembling a sponge for this tutorial. So this is my sponge. To put it on, I'm going to, I usually turn my violin upside down when I put on my sponge or shoulder rest. It makes it easier for me to maneuver. You're just going to lift up these rubber bands like I am here, both of them. You want to make sure both rubber bands are lifted. And then slide your sponge underneath. It might take a little bit of maneuvering. And it secures it there. So there you have your sponge ready for you to use. Also, as I've demonstrated here, if you have lost your sponge or if you can't find your sponge, a small towel or cloth folded in this way will work just as well. So you can use that too. So that's how you put your sponge on. All right, next, shoulder rests. So my shoulder rest might look slightly different than some of yours, but don't worry, it has the same essential features. So if you look at this, you'll notice that my shoulder rest is curved to one side. It is not symmetrical when you look at it this way. Uh, that's intentional. This part here is meant to go over my left shoulder, like so. And then the part that curves back goes the opposite direction. All of your shoulder rests have a curve in them somewhat like this, okay? So you want to be sure that that curved part is fitting over your shoulder. If this is backwards and the curved part is in front, that's just going to be uncomfortable. So make sure of that first and foremost. Again, I'm going to turn my violin upside down, remembering that this curve is going over my left shoulder. That also tells me that the curve right here should go underneath the chin rest. So you can use that as a guide as well. Now, you might see these little feet that I have on my shoulder rest. Your shoulder rests have feet as well. Those are going to grip onto the edge of my instrument right here. See that little lip that we have? That's where the shoulder rest is going to grip the instrument so it stays on. So I've turned my violin upside down. I'm taking one of the feet and gently sliding it, I'm sliding this, not clicking it on or clicking it off, sliding it onto the lip of my instrument. And as I do so, I'm going to line up my other, the feet on the other side and gently slide those down. You don't want to push too hard. Slide these down until you feel the shoulder rest is secure and that it's not loose, but don't force it. You really don't want to force that onto your instrument. It could cause damage to the varnish, or at worst, if you really shove it on there, it could cause a split seam or something like that. So just be gentle with it. And then your shoulder rest stays on. As you can see, that's not going to come off. My curve is underneath the chin rest in order to stay on my shoulder comfortably. And there you have it.